Welcome into this week's episode of Loan the Podium. I'm Drew. He's Mike. Mike, bit of a slower week for Team Canada on the Olympic path this week. Yeah, absolutely. Might actually be able to get some work done tonight. You got any plans, Drew? Nah, still no. Yeah. I'll probably just end up watching Jeopardy like I do every night while this video uploads to YouTube. But still, seven medals for Canada, and it all started on home soil. Yes, it did at the Whistler Sliding Center. And let's go back to Kaylee Humphreys. Her name's come up a lot in this series. Still no official word on who she'll be riding with, but it looks like at this point it's gonna be Melissa Loholtz. The pair were back on the track in Whistler for the third World Cup of the season. And there they took their third podium with their second gold of the year by a margin of over a half a second, dominating win over USA one and two who rounded out the podium. On the men's side, Justin Cripps and Chris Spring kept their little rivalry going with Spring and his brakeman Neville Wright getting the better of their compatriots this week, taking gold by just two hundredths of a second over Cripps and Alexander Kopax, who settled for silver. Both drivers failed to medal in the four-man. The home track advantage continued for the Canucks in the skeleton, with North Vancouver's Jane Channel locking down just the third World Cup medal of her career taking silver at her home track at Whistler. Canada has been absolutely dominating the sliding sports, but we'll see if that continues when the scene shifts over to Europe. Now for Skate America, really doesn't have the same ring to it as Skate Canada, but I digress. We'll head to the Pairs Free Skate in Lake Placid and to Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford. The pair were leading after the short program, but they failed to execute in the free, dropping to a bronze medal finish. However, with this performance and others throughout the season for them, they will head to the Grand Prix Final in just two weeks' time, along with fellow Canadians Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer and Caitlin Osmond. So a good showing of Canucks heading to the Grand Prix Final. Absolutely, and Virtue and Moyer defending champs at that one, so they'll be looking to repeat. Another guy with a lot to prove is back. Who? Who, yes. Finally, we get to talk some snowboarding on this program. Talk about Mark McMorris. One of the most decorated snowboarders all time. Mark took a nasty spill in the Whistler backcountry at the end of last year. Left him with a fractured jaw, a broken arm, a ruptured spleen, a fractured pelvis, a broken rib, and a collapsed lung. Had it not been for the snow, he probably would have died. A lot of people thought he might never come back. Most people have no idea who this guy is because Mark was competing in his first contest since the big accident at this weekend's Air and Style at the Bird's Nest in Beijing. And spoiler alert, he won, throwing down a frontside triple cork 1440 mute and a backside triple cork 1440 Indy. So yeah, Mark is back and he's back in full force. Who would have thought the best freestyle snowboarder in the world comes from the flattest place on earth, Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Crazy up? story, so glad he's back and back competing after that scary incident. Now, Canada, they're not exactly a perennial favorite when it comes to cross country, but in 2018, they got a shot to bring home some hardware and it's with last weekend's fourth place finisher, his name, Alex Harvey. No Canadian male has ever won an Olympic cross country medal, something the Harvey family knows all too well. Alex's father, Pierre, competed in the 88 Calgary Olympics, finishing 14th in the 30 kilometer race. Pierre is still a well-decorated skier and that seems to run in the family. If Canada is to break its drought in Pyeongchang, Alex Harvey will be the man to do it. Alex is no stranger to the podium, collecting five World Cup medals throughout his career, including two golds. And 2017 has been an exceptional year for Alex, picking up last weekend's fourth place finish, only 1.6 seconds shy of first, and a gold in March in the 50 kilometer. I mentioned his father Pierre in there competing in the 88 Calgary Games. He also competed back in 84 in the Summer Olympics as a cyclist, becoming the first Canadian man to compete in both the Summer and Winter Olympic Games. A lot, lot to live up to when your dad's an Olympic legend like that, I guess. Let's take those skis and point them downhill. Finally, the free ski slope style season 
kicking off this weekend at the Stubai Glacier in Austria. And Canada has a few guys with a legitimate shot to medal in Pyeongchang. Probably the best hope is Oakville's Evan McEachran. Shout out Craigley Ski Club. Evan started the Olympic season with a bang this year, overcoming some early speed issues to pick up his first ever World Cup medal, taking silver just behind Norway's Oystein Bratton. So great job, Evan, getting on the podium for his, the first time in his career. No surprise, Canada has always dominated both freestyle skiing and snowboarding. They won the most medals in those categories back in 2014 in Sochi. So that's all we have for this week. Really quite short, like we said off the top, but coming up next week, we got a full week once again. Cross country, they're heading to the home of the 94 Olympics. That's Lilyhammer, where you can see our metal detector himself, Alex Harvey, go for the gold. Snowboarding and ski, Big Air is going to Machlebet Monk. All right, it's gonna be in Germany Just somewhere. Germany. Yeah, that'll Just be in Germany. Germany. Luge, also in Germany, but in a city I can actually pronounce. That's in Altenburg. And then long track right here at home in Calgary. So another big week and possibly a lot of medals coming for Canada. And that means we'll be back in just about a week's time. We're under 75 days away from the opening ceremonies in Pyeongchang. A lot has happened and there's a lot more and we will break it all down for you next week on Loan the Podium. Oh. Come on. One, two, one, two. Mic check, one, two, one, two.